Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about lips, specifically products that you put on your lips. Lip glosses, lip balms, lipsticks. I wanted to talk about six that I've been using, what I think about them, my honest thoughts in terms of color payoff, how long they stay, whether or not I will buy them or not buy them again, and just recommend to you good times to wear these types of lipsticks and what I think of the color. If you're looking for inspiration on what lipstick to wear for the next wedding or lip gloss to wear for your graduation or prom, I know a few of you are going to prom and you're trying to find out that perfect lip color to dazzle that evening, Stay tuned. And I'll be talking about lip products anywhere from Etude House to Sephora. So they'll run the gamut and you'll get an idea of what you like and what you don't like based on my thoughts about them. Okay, let's get on to the first lip product. First, I have a lip gloss for you all and it is this Sephora Colorful Gloss Balm in the color Warrior Princess. A very strong name. This one comes in a tube, very good price. And this one has a little bit of a shimmer. And right now I use it as an everyday lip gloss. It's just a very easy application. All you have to do is squeeze onto your lips. And I would call it more of a nudie pink because after you apply it, it really just blends into your lips. Not much of the actual color of the lip gloss staying on your lips but because it blends in, this is great to use for every day. It's very moisturizing. The color comes off after you eat, so you would have to reapply it again, but your lips still stay moisturized even after you eat, so at least you won't have dry, cracking lips afterwards. You just won't have the color. Again, it's a good price point. They have different colors that I want to try out, so if you're looking for a good, everyday, nudie pink, this will be perfect for you. For number two, I have a drugstore lip balm. This one is from L'Oreal Paris, Glossy Lip Balm, the color Vintage Rose. I actually have another color of this lip gloss. This one is the My Baby Doll color. The color of this is more of a Barbie pink. The other one is more of a mauve pink. Now this is actually a lip balm that I would not purchase again. Admittedly, I was attracted to it because of the cute packaging, the big silver lettering, looked like a mascara tube. I thought it was really pretty, something that you wouldn't mind putting in your bag and carrying around. However, it doesn't do much for your lips, to be honest. I'll put it on, after you eat it's gone, which is fine, but there's no moisture left on your lips. It doesn't really feel like it's doing anything and my lips feel dry soon after I eat if I don't reapply. I don't think it really does much to help keep your lips healthy and moisturized through the day, to be honest. You're going to put a lip gloss underneath that will actually keep the moisture locked into your lips even though the color fades, and the color fades for this pretty quickly. It's probably okay as a layering color, but as is, I don't think it's worth it. Next up, I have a lip tint from Etude House. This one is from my trip to Japan last December. The packaging is one of my favorites. This one is from the Etude House Dear My Lips Tinting Lips Collection. The color is Washing Jeans Mint. Sorry, I kind of smashed the top a little bit this morning when I used it. So no, this one does not actually make your lips turn blue. It does give your lips a very subtle, pink shimmer, which I love. And the smell of this is faintly soapy, which for some reason is very calming to me. If I swatch it, you'll see that it goes on pretty sheer. Very nice. It's not slimy. It doesn't linger. And that's the same with the Sephora lip gloss. And if you're messy at application, you don't see like any weird lines and it just gives a nice little sheen to your lips that again, you can just run out of the house 
and get things done in. I would purchase this lip tint again, although I would actually purchase another color. They have, I believe, at least 20 colors for this, but I'd really like to see what a pink or a red or maybe even an orange would look like. If you don't reapply it after you eat, it comes off very quickly and your lips will be dry, so you do need to continue to reapply it. You can actually pick and choose the case that you want, so I actually went with a holographic case with two stars and planet on the front. You all know how I love galaxies, stars, anything that has to do with the universe. I'm all over that, so this case was made for me. This would be a really great gift for someone who's into lip glosses and also very creative because you can choose a specific case for them. Moving on, I have two lip glosses from Ciate, both from different collections, but I absolutely love both collections. This one is the Liquid Chrome. It's in this iridescent purple, and when you put it on, it looks electric, it's awesome. I would say this is definitely a lip gloss to use when you're feeling a little bold. When you put it on, it does have initially a sticky kind of feeling to it, but it stays on even after you eat, your lips still feel wet and full of life and not dry like the desert. Completely worth it. The packaging is amazing. The top, you can see it's kind of like a unicorn. It's holographic and silver. It shines like different colors of the rainbow. This is a fairly large tube. I mean, it's standard for lip glosses, but because you're not going to use this kind of zany color every day, this should last you for a while and should get you through those times where you want to dress up a little bit. I can see how this would do well for raves or for going to the club or, you know, going anywhere fun, maybe for conventions if your character is more of an unconventional type. Name says it definitely does look like chrome when you apply it to your lips. It has that metal look to it. Not like hard metal, but that metal sheen or that metal coverage. This one runs out. I will purchase it again or I'll purchase another color from the collection to try it out. Because not only is the duochrome done so well in terms of color, but the payoff is great and your lips feel awesome. So it's a win-win combination. As I mentioned, I have another lip gloss from Ciate from a different collection. This one is the Ciate London Glitter Flip. Definitely a lot more blinged out. Cap is in this crepe paper feeling kind of material and is glittery. There are stars going down the side. I mean, anything with stars, I love again. The name of this color is infamous. Whew. Apply it, it is super glittery. Like it says, it's a glitter flip. It's more of an evening color, so you know, wear it to a very nice dinner, wear it to a special event, a concert, anywhere where you have to get dressed up a little bit and you're not wearing anything crazy so that this is more of the star. It's a very vibrant but classy red color. To the liquid chrome, the staying power for this is unbelievable. I have eaten lunch, dinner, and it's stayed on my lips. So you wipe it off with makeup remover, it's going to stay. Compared to the liquid chrome, this one is a little bit more drying, I think because of the glitter in the formula. Otherwise, if you really want to make a statement, try one of the colors from the glitter flip. I would purchase this one or another color from this collection again. All right, let's talk e.l.f. lip products. First of all, I have this matte lip gloss and I also have this lip pencil. These both actually came as a set as part of a Christmas gift from a friend. The lip liner is Tea Rose and the lip gloss is Blushing Rose. The lip liner is actually perfect with this lip gloss because it's matte. If you accidentally overline your lips, it can just run onto the rest of your face. So the liner helps it stay in the bounds of your lips. It's a very pretty complimentary color. When you put the lip gloss on top of the liner, you don't really notice. It's a really cool type of color. So I would pair it with cool tone greens, blues, if you want to match it with your face makeup. In combination, I really love the lip color, but because this is a matte, it's a little bit drying. 
you want to put lip product that's more moisturizing, I would recommend putting this over a lip gloss so you can lock that moisture in, but you can get the color of this. Downside too is the smell. The lip gloss smells a little chemically similar to what the ColourPop lipsticks smell like to that clay or chalky type scent. You're not going to like the smell of this very much. If you wear both of these in the summer, they'll look good with more of monochrome or silver, black or white color scheme for the outfit. Personally, if these weren't gifted to me, I probably wouldn't purchase them just because I would like my lip glosses to be a little bit more moisturizing without having to layer. You've reached the end. I hope that you got an idea of what to wear for the next event. If you were confused or didn't really have anything in mind, let me know if you've tried any of these products and what you thought of them. And let me know if there's anything that I should try myself and for what event. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much to my new subscribers. Welcome to my family. And if you're watching and you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button as well so that you can get notified every time I post. I'm trying to get better about posting more often. I'll let you guys know once I finally arrive on a regular schedule. You have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.